was losing my mind Told them I'm fine, wish I was sober We were just 21, nothing was wrong with our future But when I'm alone, feel like a stone, nothing can hurt me. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette today. It is just simply stunning. I love it. I did originally get it because I love this shade here, but today I've pretty much made this shade here the star of the look and I am loving it. If you guys would like to see me film a tutorial using any of the other colors in this palette or just doing a different eye look, comment down below so I know because I would just love to film another tutorial with this palette. It is just beautiful. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to do a quick shout out to Julia.com. They very kindly sent me this ring. They did give me a few different pieces that I could pick from. And I went for this one here, which is a wedding set. Typical me, probably because I'm not gonna have an actual wedding set of my own for a very long time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take up the opportunity. And this ring is just stunning. I will insert a little clip so you guys can see how beautiful it is close up. I will link their website down below. And if anybody's interested in the specific ring that I'm wearing today, I will also link that one down in the description. So yeah, a big shout out to Julia. Thank you so much. It is always really nice when brands reach out and just want to send you something. I already filled my brows in. I did it off camera because it takes me the longest time. I will link my brow tutorial down below if anybody wants to see how I do that. The only different thing that I do now with my brows is I do the top line first and not the bottom line when I'm filling them in. And that's basically it. I also primed my eyes using MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I concealed around my brows and under my eyes using Maybelline Master Conceal. I'm just going to start by blending this color here through my crease and I'm going to use my Morphe M441 brush. You want to really get that into the inner corner as well because it's going to be a really smoky, grungy look. And when you've got less product on the brush, start bringing that color out. Next, I'm going to deepen the crease up just slightly using the same brush, but this time taking this shade here. Next, I'm just going to pack this red color here on the outer corner and the inner corner. The brush I'm using is my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to pack the color on the outer corner and just build the color up to start with before I start blending it out. And put some on the inner corner as well. Once I've placed quite a bit of color, I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe M441 brush and just do little circular motions to blend that out. And then start bringing it just a little bit through the crease as well. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade that we used just to blend out the edges. The next shade I want to go in with is this one here. So it's just the shade below that red we just used. And we're just going to go in with that to deepen up the edges once again. The next color I want to go in with is just this one here. And we're going to go over those outer edges again and blend that into the crease. And then blend it out again with that same brush we used before. I'm going to go back in once again with that first bright red color that we use and just go over those colors a little bit more. I'm going to take this shade here and pack that all over my lid. You can just use your finger if you want. I'm just going to use my Morphe M508 brush. It looks like this. So just packing it on the center of the lid and taking it right up to the crease. I'm going to pack a small amount of this just in the center of where I applied that shimmer color. Just a touch in the center of the region. I'm going to start with the first red shade that we use. Now I'm going to mix these two shades here and apply that closer to my lash line. Now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner using the second shade of the palette here. Now I'm just going to take my Essence Eye Pencil, this one is in the shade 01 Black Fever and just line my upper waterline, I can't remember what you call it. Now I'm just going to apply my liner on the top. The liner that I'm going to use today is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I love this eyeliner, it's amazing. I really suck at eyeliner because I have such hooded eyes, I find that a lot of the time Wing liner just does not suit me, but I find that this one is a lot easier to work with for me.
just below that little hooded part there, I like to draw a line so I know for my wing liner to not go past that, otherwise it will start looking really funny. That is so far from perfect, but that's gonna have to do. Now I'm gonna line the bottom waterline using my Inglot Gel Liner. This one I have is in the shade 77. It's such a dark, super black. You guys have probably heard me talk about this in my other videos, but this one does not budge. It is waterproof and it's so hard to get off, but it stays on all day and my watery eyes need something that is that hectic. Oh, wow. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to my top lashes using Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm just going to jump off camera quickly and apply my false lashes and then I'll be right back. And now that the eye, now that the eye makeup is out of the way, I'm going to start preparing my skin for foundation. I have been using this lately and I'm loving it. It was super cheap and I love to use oils on my face because I have super dry skin. This one is from She. It is the Argan Oil Face Serum. What I like to do is put a couple of dots on my face before I do my foundation. I also do it before bed after I've moisturized and exfoliated. And I just really love it. I like to just gently press that into my skin. I have a new foundation to share with you guys. It's been out for ages, but I hardly see any YouTubers ever wearing it. I do find that it stays on my skin better when I do not prime. I primed the other day, I had a photo shoot and my makeup, I had to retouch it up like five times during the day. But if I don't prime, it stays on my skin perfectly. So this is the foundation here. It is the Napoleon Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. It is SPF 20. I have the shade Look 3, it is for when I'm fake tanned. As you guys can see, my neck is not the same color as my face, so my foundation is going to match my neck. Basically, I went into Napoli the other day and I said to them, look, do you guys have a full coverage foundation that is not matte? Because I have dry skin and I'm sick of looking like the Sahara Desert. Like I want my skin to look healthy, but I also want the coverage because when I do a full glam look, I like to be able to cover up my freckles. And she said, have I tried this yet? I said, no. I ended up spending, I think, $70 on it, if I can remember correctly. It does come with a little brush inside. I don't tend to use the brush. I kind of just squeeze it out, put it on my face from the brush, and then I'll use my own brush or my beauty blender to blend it out. I just like to squeeze out some of the product and then apply it to my face like so. And then I just blend that out using my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. Because I have dry skin, I find that patting my foundation in it gives a nicer coverage. If I kind of buff the foundation around, it almost lifts up all the dry, dead skin that I have. So it's nice to just pat it in. It gives you a nicer coverage and yeah, it keeps your skin looking a little bit more fresh. I did just apply too much to my face, but don't judge, we'll, we'll fix it. I didn't apply any extra foundation to my forehead because I had so much on my cheeks that I could kind of use the same product. As soon as I finished applying my foundation, I like to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I take a big stack of that on my beauty blender and I just pack that into the areas where my makeup creases and just kind of let it sit there and soak in. I'll do it around my nose area just under my eyes because that crease is really bad so I'll leave that there for about a minute and then I'll just dust that off and I'll also do my chin now I'm going to contour my face using my favorite contour little palette thingy here it's also got some blushes in that which I love this is the benefit cheek parade palette I am just going to use hula love a good hula and I do like to use the brush that came in the little palette there and I also like to bring that up onto my forehead. I just start in like the corner of my forehead, I guess you'd call it. And then I kind of blend it to the middle and then down the side of where my brow is. You guys have probably noticed I haven't posted any videos for a little while on YouTube. And I've also been pretty quiet on my social media. If any of you guys watched my New Zealand vlog video, the whole point of that trip was to go back and see my Nana because she was really sick in hospital. We got the news just under two weeks ago that Nana passed away. So all last week we were in New Zealand and it was just really nice to kind of have a break from social media and just really concentrate on family time and being there for the funeral and being around all my family. And Mason came too, so 
It was a nice holiday in a way because we got to catch up with people we hadn't seen for a little while. But yeah, it's never nice going to a funeral. What has happened to my cheek there? Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna dust off that vape that I put on before. The blush I'm gonna go in with today is my Essence blush. You guys know that I've used this in pretty much every video. I probably should start buying some more blushes, but I find that this one works for like pretty much every look. So this is in the shade 10 Satin Coral. I love it because it costs like $4 or something. Just put that on the apples of my cheeks. Give myself a bit of color. I'm one of those people that either does like really dramatic makeup or I just don't wear any. Like I don't do the whole natural makeup look. That's just so not me. I'm going to highlight my face now using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit. I'm going to use the yellow shade here called Summer. I have pretty much none of it left, but I don't really want to buy like a whole new thing because these two I have not touched at all. So I don't really know what to do there. What is your guys' favorite highlight that is in like a single highlight pan thing. Does that make sense? So it's not like a set of four, but it's one that's on its own because maybe I should invest in getting like something that's just on its own. The brush I'm going to use to apply this is my 127 Luxia Cheek Brush by Zoeva. I always start by applying it like on my cheeks and then I end up with it like all over my body. Like I've got highlight all here, pack some on my nose. For my lip liner today, I'm going to go in with Candy K by Kylie. I love this color. Zoom you guys in. And have you guys noticed I'm getting so much better at having my face in the frame when I'm doing my makeup? Like half the time I'll like sit here to do my lips and then I end up like way down here and no one can see what I'm doing. I've been really trying hard to make sure that I sit inside the frame so you guys can see. And for my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with MAC Velvet Teddy. This is my ultimate favorite lipstick at the moment. I've been wearing it pretty much every day. So we're gonna wear this one today. Surprise, surprise. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos that I post in the future. Thanks again so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.